We're gonna let him munch it. Oh, bobber down, bobber down, bobber down. Oh, come on. Waiting for it to go all the way down. Bobber down, baby. What's going on? Right there, right there. Oh, bobber went down, really good. Oh, there we go, big fish. Welcome to another episode, guys. I've got the pack on, I've got the fishing poles. We're heading down to a river to hopefully catch some trout that we can cook up together. But on the way there, look at what I already found. I found a bunch of wild berries. I mean, look at all of those. Look at the bushes are just absolutely filled with them. One thing with blackberry bushes is look at these spikes that they have. It's a very thorny, thorny plant. So you gotta watch out for these buggers. Ooh. Dude, they're perfect. They're absolutely beautiful. Now we're not on a survival trip right now. I don't have the tent or anything with me. This is just a one day -er. mm. Oh, That one was a little sour. Maybe it was a bug inside, I don't know, but it was a little sour, but still good. Oh, look at these. We're in the wood, ow. Oh, I just got <laughs> stung by a nettle. Look at this little sucker. Just for that, we're gonna eat you too. Check these guys out. Beautiful, beautiful berries. These guys, um, uh, there are blue huckleberries in my area and there's these red little guys. They're the shape of a tiny blueberry that grow in the wild in the woods. And I'm actually surprised to find these here ripe already. Oh, delicious. Now with any berries that you collect, just really make sure that you guys know uh, how to positively identify whatever it is that you're eating because there are berries out there that can either make you feel really sick or in the worst case can even kill you but these guys are good to eat, so I'll probably collect a few of these as well. We do have the nettles here with us. Tell you what, because this guy here stung me, we're gonna, we're gonna harvest this guy. The way to do that, you can come from underneath on the leaves and pull the leaves off like this, right there. A nettle, when they're uh, still alive like that, see that edge on the leaf? And on top, they've got little stingers that break off and they've got some, some poison in there. A Couple of leaves and we'll use that kind of like a spinach with any fish that we catch. So we're just gonna add our nettles right here to the blackberries. Yeah, that's looking absolutely beautiful. I love the colors in there. We got some green, we got the blackberries, we got red berries. Now I'm trying to get out hiking as much as I can just to get in shape for some super remote backpacking adventures that I'm gonna take you guys on uh, this summer. We're talking like four to five days in the mountains, climbing up super high. So of course, feel free to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you guys don't miss those episodes. You don't have to, of course, you can just enjoy the videos as is. <laughs> oh, I can hear the river, we're getting really close. Oh, it is a cliff here, almost a steep cliff. So we gotta take a rope down. Remember whenever you guys find a rope out in the wild, just make sure it's actually gonna hold your weight. Who knows how these ropes have been around or how long these ropes have been around. Tied off to a new spot. Same thing, check that guy there. Okay. Whew. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow. Oh, I just saw a little, just saw a little trout jump there right in front of us. So I've got really high hopes. This is probably an area right there already that has uh, some fish in it. Let's go ahead and explore just a little higher up the river. Dude, okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. Right here, you see those rapids? I'm thinking that that water coming down, full of oxygen. We got some swirling going on here, deep pool. There's gotta be some fish right in there. I might just try fishing just the bullet lure at first. Already got them rigged up on this rod here. Uh, a lot of you guys have asked me, by the way, where can we get the bullet lures? Uh, 
I make those myself. So that's a home tied uh, lure made out of an actual 25 ACP. Um, it's, I make them for fun guys. I don't like make them to sell them, but I, I promise you guys, I will get another batch of bullet lures done like I did for last Christmas for you guys to pick up. I'll let you guys know on Instagram. If you guys don't follow me there already, feel free to. Um, and then I'll also let you know on YouTube uh, when those new NWFS care packages are ready. But I'm sweating bullets. I got to get this backpack off and let's see if we can catch some fish. So a wild rainbow or a cutthroat would have to be at least 14 inches to keep at this spot. That's a pretty big fish. That's a, that's a really big fish. So what I'm gonna try and do is come in from the top here and cast downstream. That way it's a lot easier to get action on the lure. I'm just gonna cast right here into the swirly stuff and see what happens. First cast, there we go. Barely up to reel. Oh, there we go! Oh, we had a little guy hit it. Little guy, probably this big, he came off. That's all right. Right there in front of us. Wow, second cast. All right, this spot has fish, that's awesome. Oh, another one just jumped back there. It's full of fish here. Oh, oh we had a bite, that was a good one. Oh man, that was a good fish. That was a good fish. Super slow retrieve. I just saw something silvery flash down in the water there in front of me. So I might try jigging the bullet lure here just a little bit, just to get down a little deeper. Oh, there's one right there. There, yeah. Oh, oh, a trout came up to it. He like came up, snapped, and then you just kind of hovered by the lure. There's definitely some trout down deeper. That's what we got to do. So I'm going to cast upstream just a little bit. That way I can get down there. Oh, there, oh, oh, there's a big one. There's a big one, big one going after it. Oh, that was the big one. I hope he didn't feel that. I hope he didn't get pricked. What we're gonna do is we're gonna give those fish there just a minute to chill out. Damn, I can't believe it that the big one bit but didn't hook up. That was a shame. That was probably, that was close to a keeper. So we're gonna leave that spot for a little bit. We're gonna fish this bigger pool way up here. As you can see, there's some rapids up there bringing the oxygen down into this pool. And this could be a big resting area for trout or steelhead. All right, right here, this looks like a good spot. Whoa, that was maybe a bite like right away. Felt kind of weird. Oh, is, what just happened here? We might have a little itty bitty fish. That's a fish on baby. Itty bitty one. What the heck is this? Look at that. Look at this tiny little guy. Just hooked a little through the tongue. I want to say that this here is a baby king salmon. So let's go ahead and let him go. We don't want to keep these little guys. There we go, buddy. <laughs> and he's out of here. So fish number one was so massive that we barely could tell that we had one on. King salmon. This is a place where the uh, salmon are gonna come up these rivers and then they spawn up there, lay their eggs, they mate. And then the adult salmon, they die in the rivers and provide the nourishment for the, the animals and the plants. And then the baby salmon from here grow up in the rivers, as you can see, living here and feeding on small things. And then they swim out to the ocean to grow massive. And after a few years, then they find their way back to the exact same rivers and streams where they were born and come up here and repeat the whole cycle. It's absolutely beautiful. And I'm super lucky to live in an area where this is happening. It's truly just a nature, one of nature's miracles. In front of and behind all these boulders, that can be a really good spot. Oh, immediately, immediately, I saw like three trout go after it. There were like three trout or small salmon right over there, that was amazing. Yeah, this is where they're hanging out. 
right into the rapids there. Oh, oh, they're, they're hitting it. Oh, there's a go. Fish on, baby. Fish on, little tiny guy. Little tiny guy. Oh, look at that. Look at that, rainbow trout. Small rainbow, we're gonna try and keep him in the water here. Beautiful juvenile rainbow trout. He's wild, he's got that fin right there, the adipose fin. And we're gonna let him go. There we go. So let's go ahead and just repeat that. Hopefully there's a big one there. Oh, there you go, fish on, next cast. Very next cast. Around the boulders, we gotta get him around here. Beautiful trout, similar size. Similar size. Let's take a look at him, what he is. Oh, yep, another little rainbow. Man, <laughs> this is Rainbow City over here. Beautiful, oh, there's a little, <laughs> a little bug there. Hey, he startled me, just a little harmless, harmless little water runner. Look at the colors of that trout, absolutely beautiful. Couldn't resist the bullet lure, we're just gonna keep him in the water, get him off the hook and send him right back home. But man, look at that, another wild one. We're just gonna let this little guy breathe for a second and let him go on his own terms. There you go. Oh, there we go, fish on. There we go, oh, and he's off. Man, that's a lot of fish right here, but they're all like little trout and I don't wanna keep hooking them and, and hurting these little guys if I can avoid it. So what I'm just gonna do is chill over here, maybe fly the drone just a little bit. We'll give the big ones back there just another second to to rest and then we'll go see if we can catch a keeper but man it's a beautiful spot though Man, it's getting dark. The sun is just setting right now. Big night crawler, here we go. <laughs> Let's go ahead and cast him out and see what happens. One last attempt to fish that deep hole with this bobber and the worm and see what happens. Okay, what I'm just gonna do is cast it just upstream so it naturally kind of flows down the hole. The fish should not notice that anything weird happened there. Oh, bobber down. Oh, 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 it went down, it went down. Something's nibbling it right there. There we go, that's a fish on, baby. Bobber down. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? What do we got? All right, all right. Small rainbow, small rainbow. Oh, and he came off, he came off. He's right there. He's right there. They've chewed up the worm really good. Let's see if we can maybe get one more bite out of this worm here. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go down on a big one. Right there, right there. Oh, Bobber went down, really good. Oh, there we go, big fish. Bobber down, baby. Oh, this is a better one. This is a better one. Oh my goodness. Oh, this could be a small steelhead. Oh my goodness, this is a good fish. Really good fish. All right, don't want to lose this one. Oh my goodness, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, this is a really good trout, really good trout. Look at this. Oh my goodness, this is the big one that we saw earlier. Wow. Okay, we're gonna wet our hands here. I'm not, we're gonna measure him. He's really close to keeper. Super close to keeper. Dude, let's go. Let's go look at this guy. Bobber down on a beautiful, beautiful rainbow trout. This is a 14 and a half inch trout. We got a keeper, baby. All right, the hook has come out. Look at this beautiful trout. It's super dark. Man, you can barely see him. You can absolutely barely see him. I just wanna make sure that we respect him and take him out right away. That way he doesn't feel any more pain. He's out, what a beautiful, beautiful fish. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> oh, 
That's right, Kiara and I, we came out again. It is now the day after we caught that fish. It just got really dark uh, last night and there was no way we were you know, gonna cook the fish up here in the dark and I still had to climb up that rope. We're gonna, I brought out that trout again, so we're gonna cook them up. Plus the bobber fishing was just so good last night that I had to come out here again with you and just do a little more bobber fishing in the daylight. So Kiara's gonna be coming on a lot more of the adventures uh, from now on. The reason you guys haven't seen her a whole lot in the mountains is because I'm still training her to be off leash um, because <laughs> when I'm out in the mountains, it's really remote and there's a lot of wildlife around and I don't want her chasing after bears or deer or really anything. What we'll maybe do is take a little look underwater and do some underwater filming and see how these trout are reacting to the bobber and the worm. Do you wanna catch a fish? Do you wanna catch a fish? All right, here we go. Fresh worm. Oh, they're hitting it. Here, come here. Good girl. They picked me clean. They took the worm. Sneaky, sneaky fish. Look at these, those are worms, Kiara. We'll get you a fish. We'll get you a fish. Oh, oh, something played with it. There we go. That's a fish. Oh, <laughs> Kicker, we had a fish. We had a fish, little girl, but we lost him. Right there in front of that rock. That's where it's happening. Come on, baby. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. How's the bobber down? Still hitting it. Still hitting it. There we go. Oh, man. It's got to be some really small trout playing with it. But where all the small ones are, there's got to be a big one. Ooh, Kiara's watching now, too. <laughs> it's the bobber, Kiara. It's the bobber. What's going on? <laughs> It's a girl. All right, this time I'm just gonna let him like munch it for a while. I keep saying the hook maybe a little too fast. Maybe we just gotta let him take the worm a little bit better. Oh, there you go, there you go, that's a fish. On. Fish on, baby. We got one finally. Here, look at this. Look at this. Here, look. Oh, he came off, he came off. <laughs> oh, I just wanted to show her the trout. Oh, bobber down, bobber down, bobber down. Oh, 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 they're taking it. Oh, 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 I missed it, I missed it. Oh, bobber down, bobber down, bobber down. We're gonna let him munch it. Let him munch it. Oh, come on. Waiting for it to go all the way down. There we go, fish on, baby. There we go. Kira, we got a fish. Kira, come here. Look at this. There we go. There we go. Kira, look at this. Look at that. <laughs> it's a little trout. Is that food? That's food. Little rainbow trout. We're going to let him go again. There he goes. Yes, yes, we finally got one again. What are you doing? Oh, what'd you find? What'd you find? The cow in her natural element, eating grass, eating grass. Look, that's a frog. Ah, leave him, leave him. Look at that. <laughs> it's a frog. That's a friend of ours. Good girl. There he goes. He's trying to teach her to leave little animals alone. Let's go.
here is our cleaned up trout from yesterday. That's food, Kiara. We're gonna, we're gonna eat that. It's so funny, she's always confused when there's like an uncooked or live fish, it kind of freaks her out a little bit. But then once we cook it, she's all about it. He's already cleaned out, good to eat. We can maybe use this here as a cutting board. Go, just slide it over the backbone. The mini cleaver strikes again. What are you doing? I caught you. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's so funny. She looks like a cow and kind of behaves like one. Maybe I have like a. A secret cow dog, a new species. <laughs> Screw the filter on. I always like to just run a little bit through the filter first before drinking. Ah, you gotta stay hydrated. Okay, we're gonna make some food now. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Do you want some food? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It's exciting. This is when it gets exciting. Watch out, it's hot there. Oh, watch out. <laughs> oh, here, watch out, it's hot. Ow, as I burn myself. I think Kiara got her sandy little nose into the fish, didn't you? Why am I finding sand all over this? So we're just gonna throw a little bit of fish fry onto the fish. Not too much, not too much, just a little for a little bit of crunch. A little bit of vegetable oil. Now we're going skin side down. Get that skin nice and crispy. <laughs> Ooh, nice and crispy. It's looking good, huh? It's looking really good. I found another perfect rock. This can be our plate right here. All we're gonna do is take some of our Danish sea salt. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> no, Kiara. <laughs> Could you want some? Mm. It's good, huh? Wow. That's really good. Now we're just going to take the nettle leaves and we're just going to fry them. Just make crispy little fried nettles. Nettles, these were the last of your stinging days. Oh wow, they're, they're so crispy that they'll just kind of come apart in your hand. Look at this. They just flake apart just like dried seaweed. Oh, <laughs> mm. no, that's a snack. The trout, super, super flaky. Nice white meat, actually. Very delicious. You be the taste tester. What do you think? Give your professional opinion. They, they want an opinion from you, Kiara. She says more. <laughs> mm. Ooh, there we go. Mixed berries as a dessert. Now another reason why I came out here was because I found some trash laying around on the other side of the river that I found yesterday. So I didn't have any trash bags with me yesterday, but I uh, brought some trash bags out today. So we'll just do a little bit of a cleanup and then uh, maybe, maybe we can catch another trout right there. I'd love to just get one more before we take off. A little deeper here than I thought. <laughs> Don't worry, Kara, you stay there. You stay there. Daddy's gonna clean up some trash. Stay there. Good girl. 
I don't want her getting washed away. Right here, some bottles. Some of that stuff just gets away from you. I know how that goes, but right here, look at that. Looks like a little party happened down here. We got some free ping pong balls out of it. Oh. <laughs> Look at that dog. Look at her. <laughs> She thinks she can just go over there and explore somewhere, huh? <laughs> go back. Wow, look at the holes here. In the rock, it goes straight through. Wow. Good girl, Kiara, we'll be right there. All right, we got it all. Got it all cleaned up from over here. This little guy. He's tweeting at us right there. Oh, you got a toy. Come here, give me that toy. I want that. I want that. We're just gonna try and pick up one more out there. Oh, bobber down. Oh, fish on. Oh, oh, it's a good one. Feisty one. Oh, feisty. <laughs> oh, come here, baby. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good fish. Beautiful rainbow. Thank you for biting <laughs> and he's already gone. He's already gone. That's good to see them swim off strong like that. Oh man, what a way to end the day. That was beautiful. What's happening, dude? That's a, uh, not a frog, it's a toad. Aren't you? Don't worry, we're not gonna bug you. We we're soaking up the view one last time and I just wanted to say thank you to all of you for joining on this adventure. Remember, if you are brand new, feel free to subscribe. That way you don't miss the next episodes. Drop a like on the video and a comment. I'd love to read them and it helps out a ton. But Kiara and I, we're out of here, huh? What do you think? Are we out of here? Are we out of here? <laughs> That's right, we are. All right, I love you guys. We'll see you for the next one. Fish on, baby.